My name is Emily Fowun Noel Oge of Let Us Farm. So today I'm doing a topic that one of us here asked me to do. He said, How do you know when your catfish is hungry? Because every time he hears me saying feed your fishes to satisfaction and he's wondering, how do you determine, how do you know when your catfish is hungry? So we are going to discuss that so that we all will understand and know exactly when our fishes are hungry. Before we go further, may I use this opportunity to remind you that this is Let Us Farm. And all we do here is we try to provide you practical solutions to solving all our agreed problems. So if you are having any issue with your farm, simply do a two to three minutes video and send it to me. Or if you are having complaints, quickly drop it in the comment section and I will pick that up. Remember, we are not forming any WhatsApp group and we are not forming any Telegram group. Please discard such thing from anyone coming to ask for that. So, I will be right back for us to discuss this in detail. Welcome back. So like I said, it's asking me how you know when your catfishes are hungry. Some people may think that this is funny. What is not funny? It may look funny, but it's not. Because many people don't actually know when your catfishes are hungry. Yeah. Now, first of all, if you are very observant with your fishes, you will actually get to understand some of the behaviors they do. Fishes are like every other animal that you raise. They, they always have, they have emotions. So they display things when they want it. Now, in the issue of catfish, because they are inside water, and sometimes you may not necessarily see what is underneath the water, but this is the issue. When you train your fishes, for instance, if you are used to feeding by a certain time, let's say you are feeding by 8 o'clock in the morning, so these fishes get, to, get used to eating by 8 o'clock in the morning. If you get to your pond by 8 o'clock and they are, they are hungry, what you will see is movement. There will be movement in the whole pond. They will be moving the whole pond, shaking the whole pond, and coming towards that direction that you normally feed with. That's why I always advise people to use spot feeding. Spot feeding is a situation that you take a particular spot you use in feeding. But when you say it, people start to think, why do you use us? This thing is just to give you a guide to what you are doing in your pond. If you are using spot feeding, for example, and you want to know whether your fish is hungry, once you step at that spot and they are hungry, they will start moving the whole pond, moving the whole pond, and coming towards that direction. But if they are not hungry, if they, have, if they want to like play to show you that they know you are here, they will be running far away, but they will be shaking, coming up and going down. You may not have noticed this. You may not have taken this particular this thing as, as, as something that is happening in your pond. But that's, it happens. If they are not hungry, but you are using spot feeding. So instead of them to come towards that your spot, they will go out of the spot, go to different directions of the pond, and be going up and coming down just to show you they are okay, they are satisfied. So these are the gestures that they will try to show you. So, but if you are not using spot feeding because they don't know exactly where you are in the pond and what you want to do, and they are hungry, what they will do is that they will keep coming towards any place they see shadow. But the problem here is that when they are not hungry, you may not see them do that display just to show you that they are happy. So anytime the fishes are hungry, you see them, they always move the pond and come towards that direction where you normally feed them from. That's why I always say use spot feeding so that when they come towards you, you know that these fishes are hungry. 
Now, when you are now feeding, and you want to determine, because some people say when they are feeding, they don't know when the fishes are no longer hungry. Good. So when you are feeding, as you are putting the feed, they are rushing to eat, meaning they are hungry. So as you keep pouring the feed, they are hungry, they are eating, they are hungry, they are eating. Once they stop, you put feed. That's why I tell people, don't just go there, tear one bag, and pour everything inside water. That's a wrong approach to feeding. In feeding, you are pouring feed. You are pouring feed. They are eating. You are pouring. They are eating. You are pouring. So once you notice that as you pour, they stop eating. What you do, you pause. Pause for some time. Then come back. Pause small. If they respond, if they come up to eat, it means they are still hungry. Then follow them and they're giving them as they are eating. But once you put and you discover, you will see them. Once you put, you see some of them will come up and go down. Go away from that particular section of the, the, the place you are putting the food. You know that those ones, they are not hungry. You stay for some time, you repeat the same process and they still go away. It means they are not hungry. Because once they are hungry, as far as you are pouring, they will be eating. One thing about fish farming is that it requires patience. You don't need to rush. You see some people like this, when they get to the pond, they just tear the bag, they just pour feed and go. When they do that and they come back the next day, you see on eating food, some of them floating, most of them would have sunk inside the pond. Because they did not eat it. They were not that hungry when you poured that massive food. Like I always say, the fish has a streamlined body which works with body temperature and the te water temperature. So if you are using to feeding a particular kg of feed at a time, if the water temperature is not conducive for them, they may eat less. But because your, your own mind is programmed that, oh, my fishes must eat 20 kg, they must eat 10 kg, so your mind is programmed towards that. You don't even want to take time to understand what's going on. You just come, pour that number of feed and go. If that water temperature at that time doesn't suit them, they will be sluggish, they will be unresponsive, and they will eat less. And what happens is that most of the feed that you just put will waste. Not just that it will waste, it will even contaminate, pollute the water, and then cause another infection to your fishes. So, but if you are feeding them based on their response, meaning that when they are hungry and you are putting the food, they will be able to respond and eat the food. But when they are not able to eat the food, means that they are not hungry, you stop feeding. Don't have this idea that, okay, let me pour the food that they will eat after 30 minutes, one hour. It won't work. Fishes don't eat soggy food. So they just have a period of between zero to five minutes to eat any food they see. Anything after this, they will not eat it again. It becomes soggy. It just go like a soaked bread. They won't eat it. Even for people that talk, put raw food inside the pond. That's why I, when I say some certain things, it's not that it, maybe I don't want people to like save money. It's good to save money. But it's always good to do it with caution. So that instead of trying to save, and you now end up bringing problems to yourself. You just manage the way you are. So, for instance, some people say they, 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 they have leftover they want to put in their pond. The problem about this is that if you put it and your fishes are not hungry, you just pour these things inside the pond and it is not eating and it goes down to the pond. These things keep discharging oil and other chemical components used in making it. These things pollute the pond and becomes infectious to the fishes. Even if it is a, a chicken intestine that you pour and the fishes are not hungry to eat it as when you pour, this thing will go down to the pond undissolved. And then, this is, they have oil, they have other chemical components on it and it keeps coming out and it contaminates the pond and this becomes infectious to the fishes and they will die. So that is why you have to understand when your fishes are hungry, to feed them, feed them accordingly to what they will eat and not feed them for, the for them not to eat it. If they don't eat it, that is a disadvantage to you. So one, it is feed wastage. Two, it can lead to contamination that will kill the fishes. 
So that is why I have explained for you to understand how to know when these fishes are hungry so that you feed them as they are hungry. They will not eat those things and it will digest and work for their growth. So that is how you know that your fishes are hungry. You see them, they move your pond. They move it and come towards you. Try and adopt spot feeding. So when they are hungry, they shake the pond and come towards you. But when they, they shake the pond, instead of coming towards you, they play, they play and go apart. They are just displaying gestures to you, showing you they are happy. I don't know that we get this. But that is how for you to understand when your fishes are hungry. So that you can feed them and feed them very well and get the best result that you deserve. So please, if there's anything I have said now that you don't understand and you want me to explain more, kindly use the comment section or do a two to three minutes video and send to me. I remain your Noel Oge in the form of Let Us Farm. Keep farming is a way of life. Hey y'all, come look at this.